Welcome aviators, my name is Victor and you're watching Delta Bravo Tango. Now I know many of you guys know that I am a plane spotter and that's probably why you've actually clicked on this video and why you watch my channel in the first place. And that is exactly why I'm here and starting off a brand new series called How to Be a Plane Spotter. It's specifically for those of you who are already plane spotters, just interested in what I like to do as a plane spotter myself. And for those of you who are just starting off into this hobby, I hope to provide you with some tips and tricks based off of my own personal experience to help you enjoy your start into plane spotting. Now, whether your goal one day is to become a professional photographer or you're just trying to plane spot and take photos and enjoy aviation as an amateur and hobbyist, I hope that based off of my personal but limited plane spotting experience, I can give you some information so that you can smoothly transition into starting off in this hobby. And once again, no matter if you're trying to become a great photographer or just having fun, I understand that you want to reach your personal best and whatever that may be, I hope that these videos will help you get started and actually reach your personal best with your photographs and videos. So without further ado, I hope that you and you and you as well are all ready and let's get started with this brand new series on how to be a plane spotter. Now, before we begin, no matter what hobby that you get yourself started in, I recognize that you're bound to make some very important mistakes that will actually help you grow as a person and build your experience. However, there are also some mistakes that are very silly and actually don't help you build experience in any way, shape or form. And it is specifically those silly mistakes that I am trying to help you avoid by providing you with some information through these video series so that you can smoothly transition into starting off plane spotting and enjoy the hobby without making those needless mistakes that don't really help you achieve your goal. And to help illustrate what I just said, I'm gonna bring you outside and show you what I mean. Well, let's just say you're outside, although you shouldn't be outside right now, that's why I'm saying within my property. And for some reason, you decide to go plane spotting right now. However, you go to your actual airport, which is like a two hour drive from your house, and then you make a silly mistake and you actually forget to bring your camera. Boy. And it actually doesn't help you out building experience because the thing is you just wasted so much time and you don't even know if you're gonna wanna go back home, bring it and come back. You're gonna probably miss a lot of airplanes that you wanted to catch. So the fact of the matter is those silly mistakes should not be made. So let's go back indoors to my room where I will actually get down to showing you my personal equipment. All right, now without further ado, let's begin our first episode of this series by me showing you the gear that I personally bring when I go plane spotting. Tell me down below in the comment section if there is any other equipment that you must bring with you when you go spotting and if I've really missed something that you think is very critical. As well, make sure you press the red subscribe button down below and also like the video as well as give it a comment and a share. Most of my viewers nowadays aren't subscribed and if you're watching, you might as well subscribe so that you never miss another video. Okay, the first things first then. I personally believe that no matter where you're going, you're gonna have to bring a lot of equipment when you go plane spotting, so it's essential that you get yourself a decent sized bag. I personally use this bag right here. It's navy blue, it has some compartments, it has some layers inside. I bring a backpack, it's useful, and it brings everything with you. All right, now it's time to get into the good stuff. It's the camera. Let's face it, if you're actually trying to get some good photos, then you're gonna need a camera because a cell phone is only so good for close range objects. And unless you work inside the airport or you're always flying and you're airside, chances are you're gonna be outside the airport and the planes are gonna be pretty far. So you're gonna need to get yourself a camera that either can zoom in very well or has interchangeable lenses like a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. Here is what I use to use. It's a Canon SX540HS bridge camera. 
It has 50 times optical zoom, which is very essential for capturing far distances. Right now I use the Canon SL2 DSLR camera with a 55 to 250 millimeter lens, which does the trick very well. This camera actually zooms in a lot further than what my current DSLR can do. And it actually helped me capture some really great shots. For example, I caught this Emirates Airbus A380 from the opposite side of the runway and it still looked very clear. Speaking of camera lenses, here's the camera lens that I currently use. As stated before, it's the Canon EFS ISSTM 55 to 250 millimeter focal length telephoto lens. It does its job very well and connects to my SL2 camera, so it's very good. That's right. And speaking of camera equipment, I also bring a pouch with me and inside I keep any spare accessories. Let's say you're about to catch something super great and you run out of storage in your camera. Well, you have two options. Well, three actually. You can one, miss the plane. Nope. Two, quickly delete something out of your current memory card. Nope. Or three, swap out the card, yeah. which is exactly what you should do if you have an extra SD card. And you also want to make sure that you bring your charger with you as well as any spare batteries. And the last two pieces of equipment that I use, I find to me personally is very effective. Number one is the lens hood, because you know, not only does it prevent you from lens flare and too much excess sunlight reaching your lens, it also protects your physical lens itself. Because if you're leaning against a fence, you don't want to scratch your glass of your lens. You might as well put this onto the fence. You smart. And finally, here's a piece of equipment that I use that's not really required at all, but it's a Joby Gorillapod 1K kit Joby Gorillapod. If I cover my face, I think it will focus in. And indeed, there we go. Now we move on to some of the other essentials that is very important when you go out to plane spot. Number one, it's hand sanitizer. No, it's not a joke. Um, I actually do bring hand sanitizer and it's not only because of the current global situations. I always bring it just, you know, because plane spotting at the airport might be a little dirty, dusty. So if you're going to eat, if you're going to, I don't know, touch your face, you might as well clean your hands so that you don't get dirt in your eyes and get allergies and stuff. And you're not going to need a physical flight tracker or even a two-way radio to find out what planes are arriving because you're going to have Flight Radar 24 or a similar flight tracking app. These things are sensational. They are very accurate, very detailed, and they tell you everything about the airplane that you're going to come and see. So you're not going to need to get a physical tracker or even use a big bulky radio because you can literally, if you have data, you can turn on the application and you can go on liveatc.net and listen to arrival frequencies and tower frequencies and whatnot. So you're all set in terms of identifying the aircraft, a click of a button on the app, and you're good to go. And last but not least, I also bring this. No, they're not Apple earbuds. They are earplugs that are placed in an Apple earbud case. Because let's face it, although I really love the sound of the roar of, let's say, a 777G90's engine, I also like my ears. Yeah. And so, to protect them, yeah, I use earplugs. They're very simple, very easy to use, and they get the job done. And there you have it. That wraps up episode one of How to Be a Plane Spotter, which is me showcasing the gear that I use and essentials that I bring when I go plane spotting. I hope that you remember to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you want to see more aviation related content, whether it's trip reports, videos about plane spotting, or just me sitting down and talking to you. I hope you'll find something that suits your style and you'll enjoy my content. Thank you so much for watching episode one. I'll be continuing this series on for a little bit longer. And remember aviators, as usual, remember to stay home for now, stay flying later, and we hope you have a great day, everyone. And we'll see you all on the next flight. Cheerio.